Hi, right, welcome back to Beef React, and today um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, and instead of some lead content today, I'm sure this video is going to be copyright struck, even if it gets brought up, but we're going to... I want to break down one of my favorite scenes of all time from every movie. Uh, not from every movie, but this is this is literally my favorite movie of all time. It's um, a goofy movie, and... A big thing with like children's content is I feel a lot of times when people watch it, they usually write it off. And when it comes down to the Goofy movie, what I genuinely believe about this opening scene is that it is one of the most beautiful instances of storytelling and setting everything up in a movie ever. So like, if you guys don't mind, um, if you don't like it, just let me know in the comments below. Or um, if you do, subscribe, let me know. Best thing you can really do for me is just keep me updated. Tell me what you like and what you don't like. Uh, yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe. Really helps the channel out. This is um, the opening scene to a Goofy movie, so let's just watch it together. Accidentally hit stop record there. Just gonna just gonna cut it together. Is what it is. So, the first place that we see, or the first, this movie opens on, um, this sequence here of a voice, uh, a feminine voice calling out to our main character, Max. And he pops into frame like that to let you know, like, this is, this is Max from the Goof Troop. A little bit older. And he's seeking out desire. Now... The main, the most beautiful thing about this is look what it is. I mean, he's at that age where he wants to start um, meeting girls, falling in love, that kind of thing. And where do we see the girl? She's on a pedestal, but she's far away. She's out of reach. He has to really work at... He has to work at his way through life, pushing the brush out of his sides just so he can find her. And when he finds her, she's on the most beautiful pedestal, sniffing on a dandelion. It's it it. It's literally the ideal woman for Max, uh, Goofy. Look at. And he's almost floating. He's like he's in this state of just. He sees her. He's floating. This is his crush. And it's such a beautiful... Look at that, dude. And she floats down to him off the pedestal, coming down to his level. Instead of him ascending, he she's descending off of a pedestal, going down to his level, saying that she's actually down to earth, but we don't know that yet. Such a good scene. And here they are. They're having the perfect life in harmony together. They're just, they're sitting in a field having a perfect, uh, just, just give it a sec, they're laughing. And here is the moment. He has reached his perfect bliss. This is everything he wants. This is all he's going to want. And then he goes in. She goes in for the kiss. And now we find the main conflict of the movie. This is where everything changes for Max because now we know what his biggest fear in life is. <laughs> and no, it's not being bucked to. <laughs> and he's terrified that she's going to be afraid when the qualities of his father come out in him. He, become, he becomes his dad. And again, like this is the opening scene. This is the first minute and a half of this movie. Without having to say anything, just by breaking this film down, the first minute and a half contains more story, more thematic relevance than most big budget films. Like you don't see the newest Avengers movie really doing this in the first minute and a half because 
I understand that this is a shorter movie, so it doesn't have as much time to work with. And I know it's only an hour and 17 minutes, but when you do this, like, just look at, look at the way that it's going about it. Like, like, I know exactly what Max is scared of. He doesn't want to be his dad because it's going to terrify her. <laughs> And that was the dream sequence. Like, that's that's what Max is the most scared of in this world. Being his dad. Being what he sees as uncool, unfun, unlo- Like, not unloving. His dad is so loving. He's such a good father. Like, this genuinely is and always will be my favorite movie just because of, of how much story it packs into its little time. And the fact that we don't give it the credit it deserves because it's- it's oh it's it's goofy he's from he's from the 40s he's he's just he's just a goofy character this movie has more heart more depth than anything i've seen ever that's why it's my favorite film it's a beautiful father son story if you haven't watched it i highly suggest you watch it um i'm sorry i, I could break down this entire movie and i have done it before i've I've taken an hour and a half of time to break down every scene of this movie to somebody before because I am that in love with it. I think it's genuinely one of the greatest films ever. Um, if this wasn't your thing, I, I apologize. We'll be back to the business as usual tomorrow. But um, if this is something you're interested in, maybe I can make it a weekly thing. Uh, if you don't mind, just like, comment, subscribe. I post every single day. And uh, peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.